our, our problem with uh, affordable housing for, uh, for everyone to live in. Uh, uh, the National Infrastructure Bank has $7.2 uh, um, billion, $720 billion in it just for building affordable housing. Uh, the current state of housing in America is, is deplorable, really. Uh, it's supposed to be handled by the U.S. Department, you know, Housing and Urban Affairs uh, Development HUD and Health and Human Services, HHS, but they have no money in the budget to take care of this. We have 2 million Americans that are homeless. That is, they're either living in shelters or, or outdoors. Uh, this includes veterans, uh, children. Half of the homeless live in California alone. Really, the California legislators need to pay attention to this. It's a very serious problem. We other also have high homelessness rates in Washington, Oregon, Alaska, Colorado, Texas, New York, Massachusetts, and Florida. Every one of those legislatures needs to pay attention to this. Uh, another problem is 10 to 15% of all American households are housing insecure. That means that they could be kicked out of their houses at any moment. They're only a paycheck away from being evicted. Uh, they have 40% of Americans don't have any savings. If they lose their job, they're, then they're evicted. This is really a, a ser seriously affecting uh, African Americans, Hispanics, Native Americans, people of color. Uh, two long-term factors that 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 uh, uh, influence uh, homelessness are low pay, and the National Infrastructure Bank will take care of that by um, putting uh, more money uh, in these 25 million jobs that it creates into people's pockets in the middle, and the high cost of housing, which is spurred on by a housing shortage migration of people to cities, and of course, Fed policy that fuels the speculation in housing. Uh, the COVID pandemic has exacerbated everything. Uh, we have uh, the national uh, eviction moratorium has ended. We have uh, rental assistance money is running out. We have overcrowding in housing units and, we, and that's leading to deaths. Uh, just this last week, we had a, a, fire, uh, a fire in apartment housing in Bronx where smoke inhalation killed uh, 19 uh, people, including children. It's reminiscent of the, sh uh, the shirt tail fire in 1911 in a, in a New York um, uh, man um, clothing manufacturing uh, that, that, uh, that sparked a lot of the reforms of the New Deal. And that we, this just shows that the problem hasn't gone away and we haven't addressed it. But what will the National Infrastructure Bank do? It'll provide, as I said, $720 billion over 10 years to build seven more affordable housing units, create 25 million new family sustaining jobs, reduce poverty. It includes the Clyburn 10 2030 rule, where we want to direct projects at areas that have lived for a long period of time in, in poverty. We have a trust fund for areas that can't afford to take loans. Uh, this the, the bank itself pro provides the leadership and the full financing to complement all of the government's policies with regard to housing and poverty reduction. And we can do it. We can get our, our um, uh, Americans out of poverty and, uh, and into secure housing.